All right, thanks a lot, Stevie. We're continuing to get your questions and concerns answered when it comes to colorectal cancer. It is Colorectal Awareness Month right now. And so we have Emily Kaczynski with us in the studio, certified genetic counselor with MedStar Health. Thank you very much for joining us, Emily. Thanks for having me. So we know genetics seems to play a role in everything. Does it also play a role in uh, colon cancer? Yes, so while the majority of colon cancer is just sporadic, it's due to just getting older, lifestyle factors, as well as environmental exposures, about 10% of colorectal cancer cancer is inherited. So that means it's due to a change in a gene that gets passed down from generation to generation. And the most common cause of inherited colon cancer is Lynch syndrome, which is increasing the risk for colon cancer as well as for other GI cancers like pancreatic and stomach, mm -hmm. and also increases risk for GYN cancers like uterine and ovarian. So what are the risks? I know everything is uh, eat healthy, you know, don't smoke, don't drink too much. Are there specific risks for colon cancer? Yes, so individuals who have these genetic mutations have a five times higher likelihood of getting colorectal cancer. So that equates to over a 50% lifetime risk of getting colon cancer. And not only does it happen at a higher rate in these families, it also happens at much younger ages. So when you're not expecting it, like in your 30s or 40s. Um, and we also see individuals that get colon cancer um, more than once um, who have the it's genetic mutation. Once. So it's so important to know that information because you can adjust your screening. So is genetic testing, is that an option? Yes, for sure. So people should think about genetic testing if they do have those multiple generations um, of colon cancer in their family, especially if they have family members who are diagnosed at younger ages, so in their 30s or 40s. And also if we're seeing that pattern of colon cancer along with pancreatic or stomach um, or uterine or ovarian. So I highly recommend that if anyone's concerned, they sit down um, with a genetic counselor who can really do a deep dive into their family history and give them a likelihood that they mm -hmm. can have a genetic mutation as well as outline their options for or genetic testing. What about lifestyle? Does that play a role? Because it seems to play a role in just about everything. The lifestyle factors play a big role in colon cancer, and they play an even bigger role in those that have the genetic mutation. So things like smoking and obesity seem to really escalate the risk mm -hmm. for colon cancer in those that have a genetic mutation. So we can't control our genes, right. um, but we may be able to limit um, our lifestyle factors to try and keep the risk as low as possible. Get rid of those things all, the, all together anyway. Yes. <laughs> yeah. all, right. all right, Emily, thanks so much for coming in. One of our many fine experts here. We're going to be taking your calls until 6.30 tonight. Uh, we're going to take a short break, and we will be right back. Seniors across the country.